Today's telecast is being presented live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And Bricks, we've got some major star sightings today. Oh, look, there's Tom Shanks. And there's Tyler Scary. And oh, oh, that's Jennifer Gorins. Wow. <laughs> Are those things real or fake, you think, Grim? Well, if you're talking about those two big chihuahuas she's holding, yep, they look real to me, Pop. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Los Scandalous Damned. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Ah, oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. I saw their kicker warming up his leg before the game, and uh, it smelled delicious, Bricks. Yeah, those kicker legs are meaty. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Third down and, well, good luck. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Great kick. Too bad they don't get points for touch. And it's first and ten. And the runner is going to go with the punishing hit. Second down and six. Pick up of about three on that play.
third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a... Oh, man, he really wants it. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Touchdown! That's an awesome punt return for the score. What a play! And they line up for the extra point. It's a big kick. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Got a hold of that one. run there for eight yards second down and two hot hot one hot two hot takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. The players go berserk. Oh man, I love this dirty. He slips that one in there for a touchdown. You know, Bricks, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. Get with it, brother. Get with it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Man, he just kicked a living shit out of that ball. Hey, Grim, I thought that after Shitgate, you couldn't inflate your ball for shit no more. Yeah, he don't care. This guy's been a shit baller since he came into the league. for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Briggs. Second, they use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Briggs. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Hot, hot, two, hot, 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 hot. Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out. The defender says it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. And the hurry up. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Yeah, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not a lead. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. And now, the moment you've all been waiting, we're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. First and ten. And then to first down. 
from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Because, and that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Second down and ten. just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. <laughs> and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have a common, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot two. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Oh boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. And the defense was caught with their pants around their ankles. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And it's 
First and ten. You know what they say? Sometimes the best offense is a chainsaw full of gas. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! This is your brain, and this is your... Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful! A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. The defense calls their last time out. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why's that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. Second down in a lot. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Kickers, you never know. A fake kick! This is going to ruin my fake team's fake score! And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. This guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Give me that time in Cabo. And it's first and ten. Time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put a supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. Second down and more than the QB would like. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. The offense is going to need a lot more than a first down, but this will be a good start. And that play didn't have a chance. The defense comes up with a big stop on fourth down. First and ten. Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The damned are losers today. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now.
Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it. And alright gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video, so do me a favor, if you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button, it helps out more than you realize. Then, I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, hit that like and subscribe button. Flick your ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace.